everybody, it's Courtney, Fiber Fox Studios, and today we are doing our Tuesday Tales from the Truck, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. I want to start out really quickly with uh, something I was trying. I was trying something out, you know, just to see if I could do it, and so I'm going to show that to you guys right now. <laughs> I was trying some knitting. <laughs> And I've determined that knitting is voodoo. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I, I'm having a hard time with it. So, yeah, I don't know that I will ever be a knitter. Um, I just was trying the cast on and stuff. Like, it doesn't look right to me. Like, I don't know if it's going to focus. <laughs> but this was like my third or fourth attempt just to cast on and start, like, to knit and I was just following um, a tutorial like a basic beginner <laughs> tutorial and I'm like completely lost in it don't really understand this whole like where the yarn needs to be in order for you to work and I, it's very awkward so I don't know how people knit <laughs> I kept looking for like where's the hook I need the hook on here <laughs> pull those stitches through and stuff so yeah this requires so much more concentration than crochet <laughs> so um, yeah that was my experiment I just got you know and is this right is this supposed to be like this like this um, I got a set of like two dollar and something Susan Bates hooks or something like that not hooks needles <laughs> the really long ones which I was trying first with those and I kept catching myself because of course I was wearing crochet and so I kept catching you know my crochet shirt in it and I got real frustrated with that and then I was like and of course I started with like the tiniest yarn and it was dark colors which that was a horrible mistake so then I you know took all that out and then I tried again with some bigger yarn on those hooks and and was really getting frustrated with that too so then I tried with these but like this right here like if I'm not holding this just right this is like hitting me <laughs> so I, I don't know if that's if these like are always like this if they always stay like that does it always stay like that or does it relax eventually this is another cheap um, I think it was Susan Bates you know whatever Walmart ad um, this was like five dollars other one like two dollars or three dollars something like that it was really inexpensive just because I don't have any knitting needles and I figured I'd give it a try yeah so I'm, I'm glad I didn't spend a bunch of money <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna keep this like go and I don't know that I'll keep trying at least not right now so that was my experiment that I tried and determined that knitting requires voodoo so next thing I want to show is for those of you who have not already seen mosaic Monday um, that was released yesterday because yesterday was Monday <laughs> and this is the pattern that we're doing I think this would make a really great like blanket border personally you know but um, I just teach you at the swatch and I think it's pretty. Hopefully you guys like it. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out. And then I want to give you guys a sneak peek to next week's mosaic. This is the swatch for next week's. I think this will make a super cute washcloth, um, dish towel, all kinds of things. Pillow, you know, I mean, you could even do a whole blanket. But that's next week. So I want to show that to you guys for those of you who are interested in those. I know some of you think mosaic is really hard. It's really, really not way easier than knitting <laughs> okay like way easier so last week i told you guys that i was waiting on my holst garn order and it did finally come it was like it updated all of a sudden to say that it was like had went to wisconsin i was like why did i do that and then people explained to me that with the pandemic and then other things going on riots and stuff like they just like put packages in trucks and they went to where they went well, like literally the next day it pops up delivered <laughs> so I have already started working with that yarn so I'm going to show you guys first what I have worked on and I'm holding two together because Holst Garn yarn is tiny yarn I think they consider it like um say it's a two ply but um it would be a fingering length yarn it's it's small but when you hold two of them together and I did two colors and I'm not sure how well that's going to show in this one right here. But I held two strands together. 
and the effect I got is this and hopefully that focus so y'all can see I'll hold it up back here so you can see I'm like transitioning in color ah, so pretty so this was me just this is my go-to stitch pattern um, when I just want to do something that's mindless for me this is the same stitch pattern that's used in the kimono cardigans hopefully y'all seen by now they're old tutorials for me they're like when I first started so I'm sure they're terrible <laughs> but, <laughs> um, they're up there you know if you want to check it out but and same stitch that was used in my tulip sweater so you know this is my go-to stitch so I really love working with whole scorn yarn so let's talk about their yarn really quick I'm gonna grab one of my little cakes so this is the 50 gram ball so they come like this, they're 50 gram balls. Let me roll up this window, maybe that'll help with our lighting. <laughs> so the 50 gram ball, this color right here is called Petal, I believe, yep. This one's Petal, that's what the label looks like. 50 gram ball has a um, little over three, no, it's 350 meters, 383 yards in this 50 gram ball. And as you can see right there, super tiny stuff. It is tiny, but I love it. This particular one is um, right now, I think it's like $3.80 on their 80 cents on their website. And I will link their website down below. I got it when it was on sale. So it was either 20 or 30% off. So I paid either just under $3 or just over by a few pennies of $3 for this. And this particular one is from their uh, coastline and what coast is is 55% lamb's wool and 45% cotton and it says that you use needles 2 and then it says comma 5 dash 3 millimeter and then 26 stitches whatever I don't know <laughs> so this came all the way from um, Denmark <laughs> something it came from somewhere so I the coast is my favorite I ordered four different types of their yarn the coast as far as these cakes go is my favorite they have a ton of colors so here's one that I got and here is another one also in the coast and this one same specs and everything this one the color is called lime I think it's showing up kind of true to color hopefully love it it's not super soft when you feel it but this is softer than the super soft wool <laughs> this is also supposed to be machine washable and let's talk about why it's so cheap because to me that's cheap because like for the yardage and everything it seems pretty cheap since it's got wool in it and cotton the deal is with whole scarn is they do not um there's another one <laughs> they do not do the final washing process so there is allegedly a little bit of spinning oil left on here and a little bit of dye could come out. So working with it, I could not tell that. I, my hands did not feel oily or anything. You can see, like I did work quite extensively. You know, this isn't like a little tiny swatch. So I worked for hours and hours and hours with it and my hands didn't feel weird. I didn't notice anything weird, no reaction or anything like that. A lot of people work their project and then they wash it. Now, Whole Scar on their website says that their yarn is machine washable. <laughs> of course, it's on wool program is what they say on there. You know, it's going to be the most gentle cycle, maybe even a soaking cycle, but you allegedly can put it in the washing machine. We will find out because I'm going to try that. <laughs> and I'll let y'all know what happened. So this is the other one I got. This is also in the coast. This is red current is the color it's super pretty all of these i got 16 total um balls and everything a uh, few i got of the same color because i wanted you know it was on sale really good um and so i wanted a few of a certain few colors but there's the other one this is also coast and silver gray i paid with shipping shipping was like seven dollars and fifty cents it was so inexpensive I paid uh, with the eight dollars and some change um, it was so under sixty dollars for 16 of these balls this is another color I got in coast it's called saffron that's what the orange color that I've been working here and here so you can kind of see how it looks 
they're probably a little bit better. And red currant, that's the other color that I have mixed in here. I have it here and up here in the orange. That's the red currant again. And then I got, so that was all of the coast that I got. Then I got two balls of the super soft wool in the color purple haze. So hopefully that is showing up really good for you guys. And there's another way you can see how tiny it is. But the super soft wool is 100% wool. It's 50 grams, 287 meters, 314 yards. So I think it's, you know, this is not soft though. This is wool, so it's not soft. Now I understand from watching other reviews and all that it does, they say bloom. <laughs> I don't know what that means, <laughs> but they say it blooms when you wash it, soak it, wash it. And also I'm guessing that means it fluffs up a little bit and softens, but we'll see when I do something and wash it in that. So I got two in the super soft wool that isn't that soft. And then I got also in Coast the Robin's Egg. This is gorgeous. Love that. And I got Noble. So Noble is a different one. This color is called Atlantic. It's 95%, and I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. Geelong wool. Is it Geelong or is it Geelong? 5% <laughs> cashmere wool. Okay, so I'm going to hold that. Hopefully, it'll focus. So you guys can see. I don't know how to pronounce that. Come on, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> it's not going to focus. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's gorgeous. There, that's true to color. So pretty. So this is wool and cashmere. And again, it does say that you can wash all that. And here's another one of the Noble. This is, so this one is the Geelong, Geelong wool, <laughs> cashmere wool. So I think that's coming up really true to color. And again, that is 364 yards for those of I didn't say that before. And here is the last color I got in the Noble. So the Cashmere and Wool Blend. This one right here. So pretty. And let's see what else I got down in here. Here's another color of Coast that I got. And here's another color. So this color right here is Old Gold. Let me hold that back. And this color is in Noble also. It's called Lock. And I want to bring this closer because hopefully you guys can see there's like, it's multi-tones to this. It is so pretty. It's almost a heathered look. Love this. It's so pretty. Now they have a lot of these colors in all the different lines. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you do want to check them out, like if you don't want the Super Soft Wool or you don't want the Noble, those are a little tiny bit more pricey, but nothing bad. Um, they have them in the lines where you can get that similar color in like Coast. And Coast is the one that I like the most, you know, because it's the wool and cotton. So this is the last color I got in Coast. This is peach. And that is mixed in here and here. So now let's do the very last one and then we're done. One more. Save the best for last. So this is the way, I'm going to say it the way um, Antoinette over at 2OG's Hooking and Stitching says it, because that's how I found out about this yarn is through her channel. She showed some that she has. So she pronounces this name of this line as Titty Kaka. <laughs> I don't know if that's, I mean, I'm going to go with she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> it's a funny name. This is 100% alpaca and it is so soft. Let me hold it back here because I think that's the best true to color is right back here for some of these. So this is 400 meters. It's 50 grams in this little thing. So 400 meters would be, you know, 400 and something yards. <laughs> I love it. This is so soft. It's got like little halo-y, but the thing I like about this versus some of the other 100% alpaca yarns that I have, you know, purchased like at Hobby Lobby or I don't I think I've ever gotten it 100% alpaca, but it's been alpaca mixed in. So this this is the first time I've gotten 100% alpaca. It's very tiny, as you can see. When I go like this, I don't have fibers flying around everywhere. What I've noticed with <laughs> the yarn that I've got that's like acrylic and alpaca mixed is it's really bad about losing fiber. 
and it seems to be the little alpaca hairs that fly out everywhere get all over everything like if you wear a black tank top underneath something you know a shawl or something like that like you have white little alpaca hairs all over you so with this this does not seem to do that it doesn't seem to be losing those fibers so hopefully you guys can tell it's just it's got the haloiness to it so you know but I don't I just it just looks different than what I've seen here in the US so I will definitely get more of this now this is the most expensive one when I got it it was just under five dollars but I looked it up yesterday and it's like $7.05 US for one of these little 50 grams. Now in the other yarns, like these yarns, all of those you can get 500 gram cones and those range from like 22 to I think I saw some that were close to 30 or right over 30, depending on which line you're in obviously. So I mean to try it out do the 50 gram ball make sure you're gonna like it I'm super happy with my purchase like I already want to get more but I was looking and they only have certain colors on sale right now so I'm gonna wait for more colors to go on sale but I have like at least another 15 or so already in my cart <laughs> waiting so that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed it down below link I'll also link the tutorial for this poncho that I'm wearing it is a poncho turn maybe y'all can see if anybody's interested that will be linked down below it is also one of my earlier tutorials so I don't know quality wise it may not be that good but <laughs> it is super fun to wear and it's not hot so until next time have a great week let me know what you're working on let me know if you're interested at all in these types of yarns if you have any interest um, that way if I buy more if nobody's interested I won't show it <laughs> so until next time bye